Good morning everybody! It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. Um, I wasn't going to video today because obviously I've got my daughter poorly, little Ruby, not feeling very well. Um, it's a miserable day, it's pouring with rain and it's very dark and cold and I thought I'm not really doing anything and then I thought well I'll still video because I'm determined I'm not going to waste my day. I have so many days where I moan I've got to go and do school run and stuff and I thought well today you've got no excuse, you haven't got to go anywhere so say you can get stuck into any job you want. So um, there's a few things I want to do, I'm not going to get them all done today obviously, I want to strip my upstairs little spare toilet because we're going to decorate in there with some big bumblebee wallpaper. I'm very excited about that. Um, I want to make some tri dog coats because I fancy perhaps selling a couple. So to make some money for Christmas. Um, so I'd like to do a bit of sewing. I've got washing up to do, which my bowl is just filling up now. I've got to empty my dishwasher. Um, I'm having a nice cup of tea and I need to clean up. My sink wants a good like bleaching, my oven needs cleaning, I've got loads of jobs I can do, so I thought instead of thinking oh, I'm stuck in, just think get stuck into some stuff. So anyway, it's quarter past ten, let's see what the day brings. quite relaxing really listening to the rain and the pug snoring and oh it's really relaxing mm. oh look at the mess my husband's made he's promised me that when he comes back he's going to clean it all up he was looking for something, he couldn't find it. So fingers crossed, he cleans it up. So anyway, let's do our little job. So we've got to empty the dishwasher and stuff. So let's get that done. Comfy there, are you? My bed's been invaded by furry people and poorly people watching telly. Can't be bad, can it? <laughs> so what we're doing at the minute, um, I'm just unpicking the patches that were on this jacket. So they had like roses and stuff on them. So I'm just unpicking it. The last thing left to unpick is this tiger head, which then I can put on a jacket that I might want of my own. So very busy unpicking. Got my scissors done it yay i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i got it off i love it it's so like beauty bad it's cool right come downstairs to check on me invalid she's poorly still aren't you my darling and you feel worse today than yesterday don't you yeah oh dear so i've given her a oreo biscuit to make her feel better <laughs> oh, right now on to another job all these little jobs are very annoying but you might as well do them while you're stuck in the house so I'm very busy jiffing my sink, it was filthy. You don't realise how dirty these things get, so I'm hoping when I wash all this off, it'll all be nice and shiny. Fingers crossed. Right, we're not really dieting today. I've given up over the weekend, so uh, we're having a coffee with one Oreo double cream biscuit, which we said are really nice, so enjoy my coffee break. Finally got to dinner time. So I've been very busy putting my new chandelier up. I've done so many jobs today. Um, I've just got to put all the droplets on it and then we'll show you. But it's been an absolute nightmare. So we've been very busy. So there's my dinner. Seafood sticks, little tomatoes, mackerel in olive oil. So I've to enjoy my dinner. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in my bedroom. I've got to attach about 50 of these. They're so pretty. It's going to be lovely when it's done, but oh dear, what a job. Halfway round. Still got another about 20 to do. Droplets all done. Now I just need to put the shade bit on it now. Oh, Operation chandelier done. It's only took us about three hours. But it's done. It's so pretty. We need to go and get some proper um, light bulbs for it because the ones that are in it are not 
bright enough and there's only one in it and it takes three so but it's so pretty i've just been outside then to the bin because it's actually stopped raining for five minutes oh wow it's so cold It's a hard life being a pug, isn't it? <laughs> She's so noisy. She snores so loud. Coffee break number two. So we've got a nice cup of coffee and a little corner yogurt and then we're going off to fetch light bulbs. The excitement. <laughs> In the car. So we're on route to get some light bulbs for my new chandelier. The excitement of the day. And then we're going to get lottery as well. So off we go. That's my light bulb's got. So now we need to go and get the lottery. The little spikes are so sharp on this bag. Thank you. We're back again. So I need to put my light bulbs in and then I need to hoover and tidy up a bit because everywhere's so messy. So I need to do some hoovering. The bulbs are in. What do I think to my new chandelier? Do you like it, ladies and gentlemen? I think it matches nice. Right, we need to do the hoover in. <laughs> Just starting to sort my tea out. So for tea tonight, we were going to have chicken wraps, but then Ruby don't feel very well. James is going out, so just me and my hubby. And I thought for a change, I've done something a bit different. So I've got these chicken uh, thighs, but they're skinless and boneless. I've put some a bit of cheese inside it, and I've rolled it in bacon. And I'm going to put them in the oven for like half an hour. So fingers crossed, they're going to be really nice. So my chicken worked out really nice so i think i'm going to do that again it was so lovely so that's some of the cheese that sort of splodged out the side then i got a few chips and the world's smallest cob so i have to enjoy my little naughty tea oh ruby's driving me nuts watching things about barbies and unboxing them all <laughs> my tea was lovely i really enjoyed it so nice to be naughty sometimes isn't it I could see some fireworks a minute ago, I was going to show you, but <laughs> I can't see them now. No more little fireworks. Even though it's not firework night, but some people are having fireworks tonight. Time to make my own fireworks. I was going to choose a different flavour, but um, I dropped it in the bath. So, decision was made for me. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the little tangerine one. No, not tangerine, pumpkin one, sorry. Um, Pumpkin Lush Bubble Bath. Look at this. I so deserve this bubble bath. Oh, I can't wait. Because I've had a lot of showers this week with me being on my cross trainer. I've not really had time for baths. So, so looking forward to a really, really bubbly bath tonight. Oh, I can't wait. Let the bubbles begin. So excited about this bath. I love Lush so much. Oh, I can't describe it, it's such a treat. And it smells beautiful. And it makes your skin so soft. Oh, it's heaven. <laughs> you can tell I love it. It's nearly ready. So my days, I'm gonna love you and leave you because I'm gonna be in the bath probably about the next two hours. <laughs> So if you do enjoy Life in England, daily vlogs, handbags and shopping and huge bubble baths, please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on Instagram as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady. So I love you and leave you my darlings and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care, I hope you've all had a lovely day. Bye!